the hole. You are indeed correct, Marcus. There is a fire in the hole. And we're going to use that fire to cook up a beef roast to make into pulled beef. So what is it we always say, Marcus? So please, stay tuned. Okay, so what I got here is a uh, beef chuck roast. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a low and slow with some smoke. And then I'm going to uh, do it like I usually do a low and slow. I'm going to slather it with some uh, uh, beer. But first, let's, uh, let's put some of this stir-fry oil on it that uh, Quinn Martin turned me on to this. Uh, this is my second bottle of this stuff. Uh, Sang, House of Sang stir-fry oil. We're going to slather that beef with that. And then we're going to throw some uh, Midnight Espresso on top of that. Sprinkle it with some of uh, Tango Joe's Midnight Espresso, which is the go-to rub for beef. Can't be beat. It's going to make a beautiful flavor on that beef. And we're going to stick him on the grill and uh, smoke him with some apple wood for about two hours. And then we'll take him off there and uh, put some veggies and stuff in a uh, pan and cook him up the rest of the way uh, covered. So uh, let me get that on the grill. What is it we always say, Marcus? So please, stay tuned. Okay, my uh, pot roast is on the grill. I got some apple wood for smoke back there. And uh, how's that look, Marcus? What do you think? And then we'll have a beer. No, no, Marcus, it's not time for us to drink a beer yet. We've got to give the roast a drink of beer. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put this roast in a pan. He's looking good already. He looks good enough to eat, but he's not only up to 167. I want to get him up to 190 if I can. So anyway, we're going to stick him in this pan. Can you see that? I think so. I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, that's our roast. He's in the pan. He's only up to 167. So what we're going to do is, we got some uh, uh, red and green bell peppers and some sliced jalapenos that we're going to throw in there on top of him. And then I've got a, a yellow onion and a red onion. We're going to throw that in there on top of him. And then we're going to give him a drink of beer. We don't get to drink any beer, but he gets to have a drink of beer. And I've got a very special beer. This is uh, Orange Blossom Pilsner. Florida's honey beer. It's not really made in Florida. It's made in uh, South Carolina. But they use Orange Blossom Honey to brew this beer. Very sweet beer. We're going to give that a shot. Pour that right on that meat and braise that meat up. I love my new bottle opener. So we're going to pour that right on top of that. Ah, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. you got to save a taste for the pitmaster. Just a swallow for the pitmaster. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Now, that's not our beer for today. That's just going on the uh, roast. So now we're going to cover them with foil and stick them back on the fire. For another couple of hours, I'm going to cook those veggies down. And those veggies are going to go on our uh, tacos or fajitas or whatever you want to call them. And, uh, yeah. So that's it. Let's put that back on the fire and get that cooked up. Okay, Marcus? And then, and then, we'll have a beer. I promise. So, what are we going to do? And then we'll have a beer. Well, it's finally time. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug. And in honor of our special guest star today, I'm drinking the kind of beer that Marcus likes best, which is a Kolsch. And this happens to be Gaffel Kolsch, imported from Germany, Gaffel Brewery, Cologne. Kolsch is a kind of beer like Pilsner or uh, IPA. And this is what Marcus likes, not this brand, but this he likes a Kolsch. So let's pour out some Kolsch and see what that looks like. From what I read, it's a light yellow with a light head. Uh, it's probably very similar to a Pilsner. It smells good. It smells like beer. Nothing fancy. 
Let's quaff the froth off of that. What do you think, Roll? You like Kolsch too, don't you, Roll? Yeah, you do. Okay, hang on. Very refreshing. Excellent. Light. Nice taste. Good flavor. That's good beer. Okay. All right, Marcus, let's look at our food. Now that we've had our beer, let's see what our uh, meat's doing. And let's, let's whip up a fajita or two. So, what do you always say, Marcus? So please, stay tuned. Well, as usually happens at this time of year, I'm running out of daylight. <clears throat> so we got to get some of that pulled beef on there. Maybe a little bit more of that. Oh yeah, just throw it everywhere. Okay. And some of those veggies. Some of those onions and peppers. On there. And some fresh pico de gallo. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. And to top that off, some sour cream. On top of that, let's make it look pretty now for the money shot. There you go. Okay, let's zoom in on that baby. Oh uh, yeah, how's that look? Pretty darn good, eh? Okay, that's my video for today. Uh, as usual, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, well, even if you do, go see my buddy Marcus. Kefauer, Kaufer, I'm not sure how to say his last name. Uh, he's over at uh, 0852 Barbecue. I'll put a link in the video. And uh, I'm dying to try out this taco. How's it look? Pretty good, huh? Okay, see you all next week. Or make something good. Stay tuned, right, Marcus?